Hey everybody, Todd here with five pro tips on how to use a lavalier microphone to make you sound better, look better, and be more confident on camera. So why would you want to mess with a lavalier microphone when you can just use the microphone that's on your phone or on your camera? Well, you're listening now to the audio that is from my camera, and this is a really expensive camera. But the microphone, the internal microphone on my camera is not a great microphone. It's intended to pick up everything in the room, whereas the dedicated microphone that I'm using to record the audio for this video, that is a much better microphone. You want to use a dedicated microphone for your videos. And I must let you know that there is a free PDF cheat sheet with all of these tips from this video. You can download it. Just look for the link below this video. Now, the microphone that I'm going to use for demonstration purposes is the Tascam DR10L. I love this little microphone. It is a little bit bigger than a 9 volt battery, and it actually is powered by a AAA battery. I would suggest that you get a few rechargeable AAA batteries, and then it is recorded onto a little micro SD card. This thing, it will record all day, into the night, into the next day. You can record so much audio on this little card. And as long as you have a couple of batteries, you can record all day long with this thing. Another thing I love about it is you don't get any wireless interference because it's just going from this microphone down the wire into this device. So there's no wireless interference. It is not a wireless mic. It's just this device. So let's get into my tips. My first tip, hide the cord. The most amateur thing I see, even from so-called professionals a lot of the time, is they do this with the microphone. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. How professional does that look? Terrible. And how long does this take? Did anybody count? What was that, three seconds? Four, maybe five? I mean, really. I've got a monitor to look at here. It looks so much better. I've hidden the cable. And while you're at it, you've got excess here. So you can spool that up, stick it in your pocket. This has got a nice little belt clip on here. So just make sure you clip it, hide it, do something. You've defeated the purpose of hiding this cord here if you leave this dangling. If you're doing a walk and talk interview or something and you leave this hanging out dangling, it just doesn't look professional. So hide the cord. Second tip, do the loop. Now that's not some new dance craze. It's called the broadcast loop or the anchor loop. And that is simply creating a little loop up here. And, and I always have a loop on mine but you create a little loop up at the top and that just makes it look a little bit more professional when you clip it on. And you clip the back side of this loop just like that so that the clothing goes in front of the back side of the loop, if that makes sense. And I'll show you that illustrated in video. And then that looks more professional when it is clipped on to clothing again it's called the broadcast loop and then you only have this little tiny loop showing on the outside otherwise again what you have is this ugly mic dangling down and even if it's underneath clothing it just doesn't look professional and it doesn't look good so do the loop next tip hide everything so if you've taken the time to hide the cable underneath clothing, why not just hide the whole microphone? You can do that. A lot of TV shows do that, and you don't even know. They have body-worn microphones that the actors, that the anchors, the hosts, they're wearing, and you never see them. And they do this 
in a variety of different ways. The way my audio tech mic taught me was with what's called the double football move. I love football, so I call it the football. Other people call it the triangle. First, you take off the little bitty windscreen here, and you take off the entire clip. We won't be using the clip. And you use gaff tape. You do not want to be using duct tape for this, because if you use duct tape, you're never going to get your microphone back, potentially, because it's so sticky. We take a little bit of gaff tape, and we create a triangle, or a football, as I call it. And you just keep rolling that along, creating this little triangle. So one triangle, set that aside, and let's get another triangle. This is why we call it the double football, or the double triangle. Okay. Triangle, triangle. Microphone. Very simply, we tape the microphone like so. Get the other triangle and do that. So you've got a triangle on each side of the microphone and make sure you know where your inputs are on the microphone. On this case, on this microphone, they're on the top. Sometimes they're on the side, you don't want to cover up the inputs. So make sure you know where it is. In this case, it's on the top. And we need one more piece of duct tape. for a spacer. And in this case, we're not making a triangle. I'm just rolling it. And what this will do is create just a little ball. And it makes just some space in the front. So when I put that underneath my clothing, it creates some space so that my clothing is not rubbing on this mic. There's no way that that's going to press on the microphone. So then I just put this underneath. A good spot for that would be right at the V of this V neck. And hopefully that would be the least visible, potentially. Make sure that's got a good stick. And I'll tell you, in humid environments, you need to keep an eye on this because it likes to just slide right off. So you may have to reapply this several times during the day. And there we have a hidden microphone. And it looks pretty darn good. Depending on where you put it, you might have just a big lump. So that's why I'm saying the V right here is a perfect place for this. Now what you want to do is you want to roll some audio listen back to it, make sure it sounds good, do some of this. My audio techs always make me do a little bit, bit of this while I'm doing my microphone checks, just to make sure the clothing isn't rustling on any of this. And that brings me to my next tip. Listen to the fabric. So if I'm wearing fabric like this, this is great fabric for a microphone. Again, I've got this microphone hidden and it'll do a great job with a hidden microphone or a microphone that's clipped up above. But if this is my favorite vest and I just love wearing it and I want to wear it and you're already hearing it, right? I just love this vest and I want to wear this vest everywhere I go. And I clip a microphone to it. And every time I brush against it, or I put my hands in the pocket, I'm going to hear this. So you need to listen to the fabric that you're wearing, and fabric can be... i got to stop that, because it's ruining my audio. 
Fabric can be your enemy and it can ruin your audio. So if you have nice, soft fabric, that is microphone friendly. If you have fabric like this, I'm sorry, but it may be your favorite jacket, it may be your favorite vest, it may be your favorite coat. And there have been many times where my audio techs have said, sorry, you gotta wear something different. It's not gonna work. So listen to the fabric. Final tip, don't be gone with the wind. There's nothing that can ruin audio worse than wind. If you're shooting outdoors, I'm sure you've heard this. You've heard wind against a microphone and that is why your phone's microphone or your camera's microphone are not your friend. I don't know how you would get a windscreen on a phone. Windscreens are your friends. So if you have a lavalier microphone, you can put a windscreen on the microphone. This is an itty bitty little windscreen. It's a great little thing, but they're easy to lose. Um, Yes, I have lost these and, and you never find them. I've dropped them on the grass and I see exactly where they fall and, and I can't find them. I could search for hours and you will, you will never find them. So tiny little windscreen helps with the wind. A um, little bit bigger windscreen, it's called a foamy and this will help with the wind as well. If it's even windier, you can try putting it underneath clothing Again, listen to the audio, record some, listen to it back, make sure it sounds okay, it's not rustling against the clothing. If it's really windy, well, you can use one of these. And in the business, I call this a dead cat. You can buy these for your lavalier microphones, you can buy these for your shotgun microphones, for your cameras. Looks a little funny, pinned on, clothing, but I've seen it happen. I've seen network reporters, anchors wearing these as lavaliers. It looks better if you go under the clothing. Again, monitor it, make sure that it's going to be usable. It's not rustling against the clothing, but uh, this will do a great job in the wind if you're recording outdoors. Follow these pro tips and you will have much better audio, which will make you sound so much more professional. You're gonna look so much more professional if you hide the cord or hide the microphone itself, and that's gonna make you so much more confident on camera. Download the free cheat sheet with the link below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, ring the bell, and you will see future videos right here. Thanks for watching.